Hi, we're Danny and Heather Stern, and we wanted to do a video blog to introduce ourselves to you, especially for those people who um, we don't really know or maybe have never even met um, that will be watching this, and to just kind of introduce ourselves and, and talk about Show Mercy, the organization that we're going to be working with in Uganda, and give you a little history about um, where they came from and what they're doing, and then uh, talk a little bit more about what we're going to be doing when we're over there. So Show Mercy was started in 2004 by Mike and Lori Sally after they went to Uganda with an, another missions group and saw for themselves uh, what was going on with the kids there. So um, Uganda has a real problem with their orphans. They've got estimated between two and three million orphans um, due to AIDS and the wars and, and, and all kinds of things. Um, they came back and they, they really wanted to make a difference and so they started Show Mercy as an organization that would would be focused on taking care of kids. Um, since then they've they've helped build a couple homes in Uganda, um, children's homes. So the primary focus of Show Mercy's ministry in Uganda right now is a home called Hope Children's Home and they currently have about a hundred kids that live there and another hundred and fifty kids that come from the surrounding villages to go to school there. So the the vision of Show Mercy is to to not only impact the kids and provide for their day-to-day -day needs but also to get people like you and I involved so mm -hmm. Heather and I um, right. we were just normal people that um, went on a trip with Show Mercy so they they do trips two or three times a year to get people over there and to to see for themselves what what it's like and and to get a taste of how um, amazing these kids are and even mm -hmm. though they have nothing they've got um, so much love to give A lot of people have asked us, so what do we see ourselves doing when we get over to Uganda? Um, so there's there's lots of things that we can help out with with Show Mercy. So they they have a lot of logistical needs to to get get things done over there, and it'll be great for them to have people on the ground who can help them do that. Yeah. But our primary focus in going over is to work with the kids and um, to minister to the kids. Um, I personally feel like. Um, I'm, I'm, I really want to spend some time with the older boys. I feel my heart is really drawn towards these guys who are going to be the future fathers and husbands um, uh, to the families in Uganda. And right now that's, that's a real problem, um, keeping families together and fathers who will um, love their kids and not abuse them yeah. and husbands who will um, not take advantage of their wives or not abuse them. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so that's, that's one area that I really feel that uh, uh, God's going to be be using me to, to minister to these guys. Mm -hmm. um, we also, Heather and I just feel like, um, you know, we're, we're to train these kids to mentor them in how to care for one another. And you know, you, these mm -hmm. kids don't have anything as far as physical possessions, but um, if they know the Lord, they've got the love of God in them. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they have something to give, um, no matter um, whether they have any material possessions in their hands, but they always have the love of God that they can give. Mm -hmm. So we want to help to instruct them, just teach them in practical ways, show them, demonstrate to them how, how to help the, the child next to them, to not just think of their own needs, but to help that child who may be hurt or may have a need. And, um, and, and this is work that Show Mercy has begun with them. They bring kids in from the villages and uh, we'll have the, our children serving them meals and I think that's, that kind of, that's the kind of thing that um, is just really great for helping them to, to see how they can really give. And so that's, that's one thing I really want to work with them. But to be honest, we, we don't know the details of, of what we're going to be doing. Um, we're pioneers. We're, we're kind of pioneering this <laughs> thing and, and you know, we, we know that God's got bigger plans than, than what we even have thought of or, yeah. or see now. So um, it's going to be exciting to see how he chooses to use us. But um, these are a few of the areas we want to start with. We really are pioneers. Uh, we really, I mean, to, to, to be honest, and it sounds funny, we don't really even have a clue what we're doing. Um, this is like the biggest change in our life we've ever, ever done. I mean, uh, you know, God said to go, and this was the time. This was the time that we were supposed to go. And so we're doing it, and we don't know everything and, and we're going to be figuring things out and we're probably going to be frustrated and um, whatnot. But 
I think most of all, we have such a peace in our heart because we know that we're in the very center of God's will. We actually um, have no question whatsoever that this is what God, um, you know, the creator of heaven and earth wants us to do at this time um, for, for us and our family, for our kids. So uh, for me, I have tons of peace about this. Um, but at the same time, as we were preparing and as we were praying and we were seeking God and whether or not we were supposed to do this, He just gave us a vision of, um, well, just, just like what Jesus did with, di with the disciples. You know, He had a group of 12 and He gathered them around Him and He was intimately involved in their lives every single day. And um, just like that, if we feel that you know, we, we're not going to be able to reach and touch every single child in this um, at Hope Children's Home. Um, there's going to be some children that are going to um, connect with me and, um, and I'm going to be intimately involved in their lives. And then there's going to be some that are going to be connected uh, with Danny. And we also have another family coming with us, the Varga family. And so um, we know that we're not going to be able to um, be intimate and have a close relationship with each child. but if we have a small group of children, even if it's five children that I touch, um, that I'm able to touch, physically touch, and pray for, and minister to, uh, and minister to, I mean, by just loving them, being a mother to them, being a mother, a motherly figure, mentoring them, showing them um, love, what, what love is really like, and they, they have an amazing uh, way of giving love, even though they've had these horrible things happen to them in their lives, you know, abuse, and um, they haven't had parents. And so we feel uh, that God's calling us to be parental figures, uh, to mentor them, uh, to pray for them, to encourage them, to help guide them in their lives. And, uh, you know, it, it says in the Bible that if we train up a child in, in the way that they should go, they won't depart from that. And so um, we're believing that God is going to give us the ability to uh, help raise up these kids. It's not just a matter of Danny and Heather, it's a matter of God in us and people like you um, sewing into the ministry, coming on a trip, touching another child's life, loving on them, and sewing in financially. And that's how we're going to touch these kids' lives. So the amazing thing is that we're, we're disrupting our lives and we've, you know, we've been playing this for a long time. We've, um, you, you know, we've, we've sold our house. We've, we've been playing this almost a year now. Um, we've had a lot of disruption to our lives personally and, and just a lot of work and time that's gone into this, but it all boils down to the fact that the, we're going over there to love kids and, mm -hmm. and everything else is, is uh, just on top of that, you know, just extra. We want to help Mike and Lori. We want to be their, their hands and feet on the ground there. Mm -hmm. um, but our primary goal is to let those kids know that they're loved yeah. and, and that um, they need to help them in any way that we can. So we're just so thankful for each and every one of you that's following us, coming yes. with us on this journey. Mm -hmm. And we want, to, we want to bring you along. We want to encourage you that you know, normal people like us that, uh, can do things out of the normal, out of the usual day-to-day. And that it's not that hard. It's you know, it's not that it's not impossible. Because yeah. God's made the way for us. He He yeah, called yes. us to do this, and He's made every step of the way come together for mm -hmm. us. So, yeah. um, thank you. And please send us emails. Let us know what's going on in your lives. Keep in touch with us because right. um, we love to hear from you. So. Yeah, and I want to thank all of you also. I know there's a lot of people uh, that don't personally know me that have given money and I just I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you will not be uh, disappointed because you are going to see uh, the money that you've given to us and how you've believed in us really is going to impact these children's lives. That's right. So thank you That's so right. much. And um, we can't wait to get there. We have 11 days left until we get there. And we're so excited. And we can't wait to show you what our new life is going to be like.